Does this sweatshirt actually mean the comeback of modern baseball? Hey, I'm Dylan. Before I get into the real meat of this video, I just want to start by saying that although we don't really know the exact reasons that Modern Baseball um, stopped playing and stopped recording a few years ago, it was very obvious by what they said in their last social media posts that the band just wasn't working out for them and that it was taking a toll on their mental health and it just wasn't healthy to be a part of anymore for any of the members. And so I'm making this video because I know this sweatshirt has gotten us all excited about the potential of a comeback. And I just want to basically lay out what I found through the Wayback Machine, through the Internet Archive. By no means do I want anyone to start like putting pressure on the members of Modern Baseball. Obviously, they're all very happy and they're all having a great time with the projects they have now. I think it's all very important for us to acknowledge that Modern Baseball just wasn't good for them and they ended that project for a reason. But I think it's very important that we don't start like adding Brendan and adding the Modern Baseball fan account and start emailing and being like, wow, is it true? Is it true? Are you coming back? We should not. No one should do that. Very bad. Bad stuff. Do not do that. That's a big no, no. That's not cool. <laughs> I'm just here to make a video, talk to you guys and talk to you guys about what I found. And that's it. All right, so I'm not going to go over the entire history of modern baseball. I'm not going to go over how they broke up, why they broke up, how they started, whatever. I'm not going to go over all that. By watching this video, I'm assuming you already have a gist of all that. Um, I'm just going to kind of go over some key points in time. On May 5th, Lamo Records posted that Modern Baseball was going to have some new merch for pre-order. Um, and it was true. If you go on the website, they have three pre-order items. They ha they're all like embroidered, I think. One of them is a puff print. So it's really cool. You know, usually modern baseball, even though they stop playing together and recording together, they have consistently restocked items. So they've restocked, you know, old items like uh, the Holy Ghost zip and like some of the hoodies and whatnot. This is the first time that I'm aware of in a while that they actually are releasing new merch, which is something I guess to um, kind of note. Um, I don't know if that alone means anything. I doubt it. Um, but it is really cool that, you know, you're releasing new merch and it looks really cool and it's embroidered and it's really fancy and it looks cool you should check it out maybe buy it i'm probably gonna get the hoodie even though i'm broke as fuck the reason you're at this video is this the return crew neck sweatshirt when i first saw this scrolling through the website i was baffled because i had not seen this sweatshirt in the past past two or three years and so i saw this and i was like hmm i didn't want to jump to any conclusions because I know that Marm Baseball has had lots of merch in the past. I know they do lots of restocks. And so I thought, well, maybe this is just a previous merch item. Maybe it's just a restock. Why is it on the shop? If it's called the return of Marm Baseball, why is it on the shop? That's kind of weird. And it got me excited and it got a lot of other people excited. So let me show you guys what I found. So I went on to the Wayback Machine. Wayback Machine basically is an internet archive where you can look up pretty much any website. You can go any year basically and look up what that web page, what that web page, what that website looked like on that date. Now it's important to note that the Wayback Machine is just an internet archive of some dates. It's not a reflection of every single update that websites have made in their lifetime. But it can tell us a lot. So let's look up modernbaseballpa.com, which is the website of the shop. So here is what I found, right? 2015, June 27th. Now this is the earliest date I was able to find the sweatshirt. Yes, we're talking about the return crew neck sweatshirt. So that answered one question. Yes, it is a previous merch item. 
it has been released before. So my next thing was I was like, okay, I have not seen the sweatshirt for the past two, three years since I've been a fan of modern baseball. And so I was like, okay, when was the last time it was available before literally yesterday? And the last date I was able to find the return crew neck sweatshirt was on September 28th, 2017. It is right here. Now, in the context of Modern Baseball's discography and what they were up to from the years of 2015 through 2017, or September 28th specifically, it makes sense that this sweatshirt was available, right? Because if you look at their discography, they were busy. They were almost always releasing something every year, even if it was just like one song or an EP. They were releasing lots of stuff while they were active. Their last shows were in October 2017. And so it makes sense, right? It makes sense that this was in the shop during those dates. And like I said, they it didn't show up for another basically six years. They kept restocking the shop, but they never restocked this sweatshirt until now, which is kind of weird, right? They restocked all kinds of old items, they brought back old items, and all of a sudden, they brought this back now. So does it actually mean anything? Does it mean the return of modern baseball? There's a few reasons I think this might be on the shop now. The most probable, and as much as it hurts me to say it, I think the most probable reason is that Modern Baseball did a redesign of their shop. They did a redesign. A week ago, it did not look like this. It looked a lot different. Now, from what I was able to find through the source code, they use Shopify. And from my experience using Shopify, it's it can be weird filtering items, especially if you're updating your shop, you're making a new shop design. It'll sometimes throw in items that you forgot you even had previously on the website or that you might have hid. And that might be the case for this. That might be the case. They did a whole redesign. Maybe they weren't like paying attention to every single item. And this just showed up for whatever reason. It just made its way, snuck its way onto the main page. They might not even mean to restock this. That brings me to my second most probable thing, which is it could just be a restock. It could just be a restock. It could just be a standard restock, like all the restocks they've done for the past few years. Um, why they would restock this if they're not coming back, I don't know. Um, maybe they figured, hey, it was a cool sweatshirt. Why not bring it back? Why not bring it back? Why not bring it back? You know, um, and that's cool. Whatever. The last option, which I know I wish was true. I know any fan of modern baseball wishes is true. Is that yes, modern baseball's coming back. And this is just like a hint whether or not they meant for this to be on the shop, whether or not they meant for it to be a hint or whatever. That's that's the last option, which I think is not a very big possibility. They all have their own projects now. Jake and Ian are on Slaughter Beach Dog. Steady Hands has Sean and he's the front man there. They all have things going on. They all have families now. They are all married. They're, <laughs> they have lives. They're full grown men, for God's sake. Uh, and they're just living life, man. They're just living life. I, I, I don't see a reason they would go back to doing modern baseball, especially if it caused some mental instability and turmoil back when they broke up. Now, a few other things to consider. These aren't very big things, but they are some things. Like I said previously, this is the first time they've released new merch in a while. Also, last year was the 10th anniversary of sports. So if they were making a comeback, it would make sense. It would make sense. Maybe they do a re-recording of sports. I saw someone say on Twitter. Maybe they do a tour where they play sports from start to finish, you know, an album tour. Another weird thing thing that I think is worth noting is that some people on the Modern Baseball Reddit pointed out 
that on May 1st, the Modern Baseball YouTube page uploaded some songs, but they're unlisted. So if you go on the Modern Baseball YouTube page, you're not going to be able to find them. You have to find the link directly. Box Steam right here posted some of them. Two beers in from Front Bottoms, Options from Pedro the Lion, and then Two Good Things and Rock Bottom. And these are basically from the Space Jam studio sessions that they had in 2014. So these are not new recordings by any means, but it is kind of weird that they posted them out of nowhere, and it's even weirder that they're unlisted. It makes sense that maybe it was uploaded automatically even by their label, um, but why is it unlisted? That's a little strange. But it's just a little thing to note, um, whether it's actually something, whether it's nothing, it's probably nothing. <laughs> One thing I find interesting is at the end of their performance of Options, there's a bit of an outro where all the band is talking together. Cool. We did it. Shit. That was tight. Yeah. That's that was awesome. Thanks for letting me do this with you guys. Thanks for doing it. Damn, y'all. I'm out of here. That was fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Shirts. Yeah, no, you guys take off your shirt. Oh, take off your shirt. <laughs> Which I think is really cute and I think kind of sums up why I've enjoyed listening to Marm Baseball and why I've enjoyed watching them throughout the years. They were just, they were just a bunch of friends who kind of happened to make music together. And if they were to make a comeback, it would make a lot of sense that this was one of the songs they did come back with or did post on their social media. Because I think it probably harkens back to a time when they really enjoyed being part of Marm Baseball and they're still having a great time with it. And so in conclusion, I don't know if it's happening. No one knows if it's happening. Please don't bother Marm Baseball or any of the previous members. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Either way, check out their merch. Check out Slayer Beach Dog. Check out Steady Hands. Also, guys, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch if you're into gaming and live streaming. I usually stream games on there. I do some IRL content. Um, so feel free to follow me on there and I'll be live every other day usually. Thank you for watching and peace out. Maybe a comeback, maybe not. Bye bye.